I'm John Alcock, I'm Chair of the Housing and New Homes Committee and I'm here with um, my colleague, Councillor David Gibson from the Green Party, the Green Party spokesperson on housing. We are just here today to welcome residents to new council houses that we've been able to build here in Kensington Street. That's 12 new council houses, it's very exciting. Yeah. And what we've been doing is um, welcoming a couple of the new tenants to their, to their homes and it's really nice to see the human side uh, of what a difference a new council house can make. Um, so that's been particularly nice to see that the, both, both these people that we spoke to have released uh, a bedroom, they've moved from two bedrooms down to one, uh, which means that we've got two family homes elsewhere, plus a really excellent, high quality, fuel efficient home uh, that they're really pleased with in the centre of Brighton. And we want to do more of these days. We want to build 800 new additional homes and we've agreed that we'll do that together and we'd like to build as many new ones as possible because we've got this huge housing crisis across, across the country that's particularly difficult in Brighton um, and 800 homes would make a significant impact. Make a, a really concrete uh, difference and, it, and it's very exciting that we are both working together, our parties are working together on a joint programme and we're putting the priority of the city's crisis in terms of affordable housing and homelessness first. The thing that we're really excited about, I think, is, is the uh, improved fuel efficiency standards, which is going to cut down the, for, on the bills of the people living here. There's photovoltaic, mm -hmm. there's uh, high standards of water conservation. Mm -hmm. It's not as good as we'd like, and we, in the context of the climate emergency, we're really keen that our 800 new homes will go a lot further. It's pretty impressive, though, and for these residents here, as you just, as you just indicated, that's going to lead to cheaper bills but also importantly it'll reduce carbon output from these homes so it's a really great start and um, really really nice solid council homes in the middle of Brighton close to amenities and as you said earlier on the residents are delighted and I'd be delighted to live here which is how how it should be there's a range of people can live here we've got an accessible flat like the one that we're standing in for yes. people with mobility yeah. issues yeah. Yeah. Um, and there are family homes and the other aspect of, of what we're trying to do is is achieve more homes at more affordable rent. It's a housing crisis but it's a, ha ha a crisis of lack of affordable housing. This group of 12 houses, 12 houses and flats, is a, a part of our New Homes for Neighbourhoods programme. It's a particularly challenging site here built in oh, the yeah. middle of town on spaces that were used for car parks. Quite difficult for people to build so I'd just like to give credit to the Brighton Hull Council officers who I know have worked very hard Absolutely. over a number yeah, of years to yeah, get this yeah, developed yeah, and also to the contractors yeah. that worked hard. They're really, you can't see it all in this picture, but they're fantastic homes, really well finished and, and a beautiful place to live. So.